Having created the design, we're now in a position where we can start in access creating our tables and relationships. But let's just recap what we've got to do for activity one, which is the database relationships and screen print. It says study the data extract provided in figure one. We've actually done that in the design phase and we need to create an efficient database structure that minimizes data duplication, accepts the data provided, uses recognized naming conventions and ensures data integrity. In going through that design phase, we've actually minimized data duplication. That means each item of data is stored in one place only, with the exception of foreign keys, of course. And our database should accept the data we've provided because we're going to provide all the fields. And we're going to use recognized naming conventions when we create the database. So a standard naming format for the field names. And we're going to ensure data integrity. Now, that data integrity can mean two things. One, that the integrity of the actual data, and we do that with the validation, but also referential integrity. That means we can't create, for example, a sale for a caravan that doesn't exist. We need to ensure that we use all and only the fields shown in figure one, which we've taken into account in the design already. And then we're going to take a screen print of our database relationships. And it's that which we're going to submit in the exam, not the design that we did previously. And there's no template for you to do activity one on. You will take a screen print of your relationships, paste it into, say, a Word document and save it as a PDF. And we're advised to spend 45 minutes. Now, we've always already spent some time on this doing the, the database design but actually creating the database now should be pretty quick and hopefully it should be accurate as well. Little tip here before I actually go on to access I've written on my paper the date time I'm going to use so for example for caravan ID we can use auto number caravan year built I'm going to use number Sale date, I'll use date and time. The advertised sale price, price, I'll use currency. Model ID can be automobile number. Manufacturer name, look for the longest one. Count the number of characters. That's going to be short text, and I've set 15. Similar with the model name, short text. And again, look for the longest one. Count the number of characters, and maybe add one or two. So I've said that's 17. The actual sale price, currency, sleeps, number, bedroom, number, and then double glazing, I'm using the yes, no field type. And then the manufacturer ID um, is going to be short text and three characters. So we're going to be working from this design that we did in the previous video. I've just put a copy of it here just to remind you of what we did. And then finally, we need to create the tables in the following order. We first of all create the tables with no foreign key. So for example, manufacturer. And then next we create a table with one foreign key. So we need to do the model next, the caravan next, and then the sale. And then also when you come to enter in the data, you need to enter the data in that same order. So enter the data in the table with no foreign key first, that's manufacturer. And then enter the data in the tables with one foreign key. But again, you need to do it in this order. Now, why do you think tables and data entry need to be in this order? Well, we need to have the primary keys in first before we can put in the foreign keys. So we've now got access open and you can see I've got here just at the bottom of the screen those are column headings with the field types so that I can easily uh, look at these when I'm creating my tables. The first table we're going to create is manufacturer so create 
table and go into design view the first field is the primary key that's manufacturer id and we said the data type for this will be short text and because it's short text we need to give it a field size and we said that was three the next field name is manufacturer name and the manufacturer name was short text again and this time the size was 15. You can close that down now and it will ask if you want to save your changes and answer yes. The next table to create is the model and the primary key is the model ID and the model ID we said could be auto number then got the model name and that is short text and 17 the next field is the number of sleeps and that is number number of bedrooms again number double glazing yes no and then finally we need to put in this foreign key for the manufacturer ID now the field type for this needs to match exactly what the field type and size was in manufacturer ID so we said this was short text and it was three characters and we're also going to do a lookup and I want the lookup field to get the values from another table and we want manufacturer and we want the manufacturer ID no sorting and it's showing here what will appear in a drop down to select the manufacturer ID there's nothing in it at the moment because we've not entered any data always enable data integrity and I usually do cascade delete although it's not particularly needed for this exam and finish again it will ask you to save to create relationships and say yes the next table to create is the caravan first field is the caravan ID and we said that could be auto number and then the other field in caravan is the year built and for that we said it could be number we need to put in the foreign key model ID we need to use the same data type that we used in model now in model model ID was auto number we can't have auto number again because obviously it will get out of sync so this one just needs to be number and again we're going to do a look up And then finally we're going to create the sale
first thing we need is the caravan ID and because this is a foreign key it can't be auto number it's got to be number and then we're going to use the sale date and the data type for that was date and time and I'll set the format of that here and we just want a short date now while I'm here you'll notice the primary key at the moment is just on caravan ID so we need to change that to show that the caravan ID and the sale date make up the primary key And you can see now we've got the primary key we've got the key icon showing on both rows to signify that the caravan id and the sale date together make up the primary key advertised sale price currency actual sale price also currency And the final thing we've got to do here is make this caravan ID a foreign key as well. So we're going to do a lookup for this. And now if we just go into database tools and relationships you can see here we've got our tables we'll just do a quick check TBL manufacturer manufacturer ID primary key with just the manufacturer name and that has a one-to-many relationship created over this foreign key manufacturer ID in TBL model TBL model primary key We've got model name, number of sleeps, number of bedrooms, double glazing. And model has a one to many relationship with caravan created over this foreign key model ID in caravan. So caravan has primary key caravan ID, year built, and that has a one to many relationship with sale. And the relationship there is created using the foreign key caravan ID in TBL sale. The primary key for TBL sale is the caravan ID and the sale date. So we've got the key there on both. And we've just got the advertised sale price and the actual sale price as fields. Now it's this relationship window that you're going to screen print or snip and paste into a Word document for activity one. And then save your document as a PDF as indicated in the task. Make sure you name your PDF file correctly and it tells you in the activity how you should do this. So this would be saved as activity one underscore registration number underscore surname underscore first letter of first name. In the next video, we'll look at creating the validation for Activity 2.